Chicago is the most gang-ridden city in America. The murder rate here is up 35 percent. You watch the news every time you turn around, somebody getting killed, somebody getting hurt. A murder rate of two a day. When is the violence going to stop? This is like Beirut was in the 70s. It's war. Right now, the community is separated. That's the problem right now. I know I'm going through the same cycle. I'm doing the same cycle what they did before. But one thing you have to do, you got to get out that circle. You have to look at that circle and see what's wrong with it. Then jump back in and fix it up to make it a better circle. Once we hear something downstairs, I'm going to come here. Even in the dark, I don't need any light to do this. So I can open my closet. Right, I have I have two weapons, always within easy reach. One is my shotgun. It's always loaded. And the other one, I usually take and give to Alan because Alan knows how to use it. This is his rifle. This is my shotgun. I would stand right here because that's the only entrance upstairs. And then what would you do? He would hide in the blankets and close his ears. You would no, I'll call 911. Are you able to load your gun in the dark because we're not going to turn on the light? I can close my eyes and do it right now. And show them. Close your eyes and do it. I used to live in a very miserable life, you know, to condemn myself, asking God why, I'm, why was I created an albino. Many people here in Africa, they believe that if somebody gives birth to a person living with albinism, maybe it's a caste. Other people, they believe that if you get some body parts of people with albinism, you get rich faster. The others still they believe that if you have unprotected sex uh, with people with albinism, it cures HIV. We just need the, the society to understand the concept of albinism. It will help them not again to have that misperception that they have. Pena, <laughs> <laughs> 